cycle speed tours. It's another hot sunny day, which is, uh, which is great for Brittany. We've had a good summer this year. Anyway, we've come outside to have a look at pedal strikes and how far you can lean your bike over before your pedal touches down. Now, when the crank's like this and you're leaning over, there's gonna come a point where the pedal strikes the ground. And if that's ever happened to you, you'll know that at the least you get a bit of a heart flutter and at the worst, you can lift the back wheel off the ground and you'll crash. So um, there are gonna be those obviously that say, well, if you're going into a bend, you wanna have the crank up here and you can obviously lean it over almost as far as you like, which is completely true. But there are situations where you might wanna be pedaling through the bend in a race, uh, you're trying to catch up, you're trying to stay with the group, you're having to pedal through a shallow bend and you're not quite sure if you're gonna have a pedal strike or not. It's, it's, it's debatable. So we can see that there are basically four elements which affect whether or not, at what point your pedal is gonna strike the ground. And they are the length of your crank, the longer it is, the quicker it's gonna hit the ground. The width of your pedal, again, the wider it is, the quicker it's gonna hit the ground. The height of your bottom bracket from the ground, the higher that is, the better. Um, and the Q factor, which is the distance that the cranks are spaced apart, and the narrower, the better. The narrower, the better actually as well for pedaling efficiency, but that's a, another video. So if you look at the figures here, for this particular bike, we get about 30 degrees of lean before you strike the pedal. And if you lengthen your cranks by <coughs> five millimeters, then you get one and a half degrees less lean before you strike the pedal, which may not sound like a great deal, but one and a half degrees could potentially be the difference between making it around the bend in one piece and not. So if you wanna work it out for your bike, all you have to do is use these calculations, put the four figures in from your bike, and then it'll pop out at what degree you can lean it over.